This is the fastest car in the world. No, really, there's not a rental car company in the country that doesn't have one of these babies on offer. And Jeremy Clarkson went to one from Avis when he came here to race James made a Cape Ranger. Keyword there, race. Because he knew that if he was to have any chance at beating the boat, he needed a Toyota Corolla rental car. So, as a rental car, it's the fastest car in the world. But what's it like if you actually buy one with money? Well, on the exterior, it's a Toyota Corolla. This is a 2017 car, and it's got non-automatic basic halogen lights, what my 2006 Honda Accord has, and it has no fog lights, what my 2002 Honda Integra had. And you look around the rest of the interior and you just kind of go, well, it's all a bit featureless. But I certainly wouldn't call it a bad looking car. I mean, it's got a nice strip of chrome across the front and a piano black, deep, sort of splittery, angry looking bumper thing. And this one, the upgrade to the GX base model called the GXR, gets you some really nice inky wheels. The back end also happens to look relatively nice. I'm disappointed that it doesn't have a proper sort of sports exhaust to go along with these nice wheels. But overall, the back end does look quite nice. It's got a nice deep bumper with some sort of ridges down here to make it look a bit more sporty. And my favorite part is these really cool looking LED lights. However, the boot is small and it gets even smaller if you pick the hybrid model because they jam pack 100 odd batteries under there. But it does have enough room for your morning shop. But even with the seats down, you certainly won't be expecting to fit many bikes or refrigerators in the back of here. But the front seat is where the business happens. These seats are really nice and comfortable and have a really solid amount of bolstering too. The steering wheel feels really nice too, has some good 10 and 2 notches and feels really rather sporty. And the dashboard layout is really nice as well. I know some people don't really like steeply raked dashes because it feels a little bit claustrophobic, but I actually really like it. I think it looks really sporty. However, when you start looking around, you realize that this isn't the most feature rich interior. There's no power folding mirrors. There's no adaptive cruise control or lane keep assist. There's no fancy digital gauge cluster. There's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and there's no automatic climate. However, the quality of all the buttons in here is quite nice. It's got cruise control and a few buttons on the steering wheel to control the Bluetooth and the radio and the infotainment system. And I like the feeling of the shifter too, the way it sort of changes color as you go down through the PRND and it has a nice action to it. And the last thing that I really like is the way these climate control vents work. It actually feels quite premium for a Toyota Corolla and it has this beautiful sort of fan mechanism in there that closes shut when you twist the little knob with a nice click. I like it. So, the Toyota Corolla. I am deeply surprised with the handling of this car. The way it goes through quarters is actually really rather good, I have to say. The steering is actually really sharp. You know, you turn the wheel and it just immediately darts one way or another. Now, yes, this is a CVT, as you can hear. I think what people don't like about CVTs is that sometimes you want to floor it, but you don't want the revs to be screaming at the red line, you know? And that's what's really good about a manual is that you can just hold it in second gear, say, and floor it up to 4,000 RPM and then back off. Whereas if you did that in a CVT, it would just scream to redline and just make a whole lot of unnecessary racket that you don't really want. What's good about the manual mode is that you can hold it in a ratio so you can floor it and it kind of accelerates in a way that you expect it to. And I actually quite like the sound of it at the top end too. It sounds quite nice. It has a little bit of a, a little bit of a grumble to it. In terms of driving comfort, it's excellent. The suspension is really nice and supple. It's not like crashy over bumps, but it's also not roly poly through corners. You know, it actually feels surprisingly direct. And thank you Toyota for putting in some absolutely fantastic seats. There's a really solid amount of bolstering here on the side, which holds you in fantastically well. So it means you can whip it into a corner, but you're not complaining of falling out of your seat in any way, shape or form. We've got a yellow MR2 behind us. <laughs> Toyota versus Toyota, let's see what happens here. Mate, this guy is actually full on trying to race me here. In the Corolla, we're pulling on the MR2. Mate, if this is not a testament to this Toyota Corolla, I'm actually giving an MR2 a run for his money here. Mate, 
This is a 1.8 litre CVT Toyota Corolla and I am having fun. In general, I don't think people come out of driving a rental car going, wow, that was such a fantastic car, I want to go and own one of them. But this, with a six-speed manual, I would actually buy it. Like seriously, I would buy this car. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Kiwi Car Life. And I will continue trying to shake the CMR2 off my tail. Not really, because it's not my car. But, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next time.